Welcome back. We've got Chi here with us for this one because we're going to make him a dog sweater. We're going to add some decorations to it that make it double as a Halloween costume. You ready, Chibi? Let's do it. So to begin, I picked some of the free yarn that I just happened to get recently. And I think this brown one that's very thin and multi-textural is going to make a very good like creature vibe. So I just chained with that from one side of him to the other. And then I used a single stitch to just crochet a panel that's going to be the length of his back. Okay, now that we've got a piece about the size of Chi's back, I'm going to put a little border on here. I like that basically each new project that I do, I have to learn a new skill. And for this project, it's learning how to do a border. So I looked at several different videos, but I really liked this one by TL Yarn Crafts. So that's the one that I found the most helpful. I'll have that one linked below. I'm working in the same color, so you can't necessarily tell that it's a border yet. But I just started in the corner here and single single stitched my way all the way now i'm at this corner over here so what i'm going to do me... is basically turn this corner so i'm going to stitch into with a single stitch chain two and go back into that same spot with one more single stitch that's our corner. Now I'm going to turn my work and continue to single stitch all the way over to this side. We'll do that again. All right, I'm finishing my last single stitch on this row. I'm gonna show the corner, how, I, how I'm doing the corner one last time. So I just worked into this stitch at the end here. So we're going to turn the corner and I'm going to work into this stitch that's right below it. With a single. Okay, hold on. Chain two. And then another single right into that same hole. gonna turn my work a quarter of a turn and single stitch my way back around these other two sides now i'm gonna just continue my way around all the l4 edges alternating between a single and a double stitch I'd say that ended up pretty well i don't know why this side dipped down i'm honestly i have no idea what happened there but that kind of works because we'll just make this the top where his neck is so with the top done i'm going to start working on the bottom part so to begin that i just chained from this side of his um from, you know from his side to his other side and i made it as thick as from the back of his arm to about the mid belly I also made this little section that's wide enough to go up and tall enough to go up his chest. And then I pinned those two pieces together. And I'm going to pin those to the side of the shirt, like behind where his arms are going to go. Let's try it on him to make sure that it fits before we start sewing. That's awesome. So with the sweater part done, we'll move on to working on the spikes that go on the back and the little tail. What do you think about it, Chibi? Is it comfy? Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, he just wants some patch. Okay. I made a fringe decoration to go around the front. I just chained long enough to go back and forth around the front of Chi's neck and did a little scallop stitch and then folded that in half and stitched it to each other. And I also made this triangle tail by just decreasing a stitch every third stitch or so. 
I attached the tail to the back and also that little fringe part to the front in the bottom of his neck. And then I started working on the spike. So I made two identical small triangles. I stitched two of the sides of that triangle together to make a little cone. I took brown yarn scraps, stuffed that, and what I'm left with is a stuffed triangle. And then I just attached those spikes down the center of the back. Baby, you're not looking like a very scary creature. You're looking like a little shy, pathetic creature. <laughs> you're not looking very scary. It's supposed to be Halloween. <laughs> it's supposed to be Halloween. Ah, it's so scary. Ah. <laughs> okay, he's really not trying to model right now. He just wants cuddles. We'll try to make this as quick as possible. But just look how cute it turned out with the spikes and the little tail. We've got the trim in the front. Scary monster! Scary creature chi! Scary creature chi, huh? <laughs> Chibi says, thanks for joining us in this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the little thumbs up down below. Subscribe while you're hanging out down there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.